the Toledo, the Toledo will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. Bowling Green's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense to just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. And they get nice yardage on that run. The delayed handoff picks up about six yards there. That'll bring up third and four. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. And he's tackled right around the 40. This quarterback better start making better decisions in the passing game. Otherwise, this corner will come up with even more picks in the future. It's first and 10. Ball on the 40. About the 33 yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. He might have a chance. Nice run to the outside. And he carries the ball for a nice game. This is the eighth play of the drive. They'll knock him down for a loss. That's not going to keep the drive going. Good, solid defense there to force him into a fourth down situation. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Toledo is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and he's got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Toledo's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for him so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. And down he goes at the 26-yard line. Defense scoops it up. And he's taken down at about the 23 yard line. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. 
They put some points on the board in their last drive, and they'll start this one in position to do much of the same. The defense has their backs against the wall here. They're really going to have to get aggressive if they want to keep the offense from scoring any points here. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Toledo has a three-point lead. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. From the 23-yard line, it's third down. Quick throw. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. He's going to try and scramble. Nice move, and he scores. He makes the PAT. A four-play, 23-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So the score now, 10-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Toledo's looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant first quarter that we have seen in a long time, but let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ball game. The offense comes out of the field, and they're hoping to avoid the similar fate that killed their last drive. If they can play sound football from here out and make a few plays, there's no reason they can't get back into this. Being a talented play. That'll make it second and in inches. And they make the stop around the 44-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Throws out and through his hands. They tried the same pass play, and it failed. Good job here by the defense. They put an end to that obvious belief by the offensive coordinator that the play would have worked multiple times. Rose left. The running backs got it. Brought down around the 50-yard line. Number two with the tackle. That'll make it 35. He's hit and taken down. First down. Mike 34, Mike 34. Here we go, D. Quick strike to the receiver. He's tackled right around the 30. Number 20 brings him down at the 30 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. He's at the 20. He's taken down at the 12-yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here the defensive linemen did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. From the 17-yard line, second down. He's into the open field. Touchdown, Falcons. Well, a quarterback just showed us he can beat you with his feet as well as his arm. And what a dangerous weapon this guy is. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Bowling Green lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. 
He's to the 20. Brought down by the kicker. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline, based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be living. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. Toledo is up a field goal. Point lead. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Mike 7. Mike 7. 10 19. 10 19. He scrambled. Tackle around the 28 yard line. him hard at the 22 yard line it really wasn't badly played by the defense but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you play action quarterback's going to run it and he's got room to work that's a great tackle at the 15. the field goal lead. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. It's second and goal. Ball on the five-yard line. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. They bring the quarterback down. It looked like they caught the quarterback by surprise. Well, that's a great call by the defensive coordinator. They send him off the corner, and he just uses his speed to get the sack. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Catches it, and he's punished. They try running left, and he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Fires 
fires out to his receiver. And no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. The ball just kept scooting all over the place on the sideline, and it finally skipped out of bounds before anybody could claim it. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. He gets to about the 41-yard line. That's a game of 11 on the play. That makes it first and 10. 34 is the mic. 34 is the mic. He's coming. Check him. Check him. And he's tackled at the 32. That's good for a game of 9 yards. That makes it second and 2. He gets sacked on the play. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. This is the eighth play of this drive. It's a tight end who's wide open out there. Call it a game of nine yards. That'll make it third and 13. And a quick throw. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. Bounds at the three yard line. That brings him second and goal. And he's going to come up with a sack. That makes his third and goal. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Three down, three down. Hey, check back to Passes, and it's almost picked off. And that makes it fourth down. Boy, great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass, and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break up the play. Kicks up, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Bowling Green, ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Toledo is up by three. Oklahoma! Throws complete and he's hit right away. They get a good seven yards on that one. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Complete. He's got room. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle made at about the 43-yard line. That'll move the chains for another Toledo. First down. Zips it to the tight end. And down he goes around the 47-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. And he's 
taken down at about the 35. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Hey, hey, 14. He makes his way out to about the 25. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their scheme. From the 25-yard line, first down. He's on the run, and he is drilled at the 25-yard line. No that makes it second and 10. What a play, and that is first and goal. That makes it first and goal. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Toledo has a three-point lead. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. Number 22, the intended receiver on the play. It's third and goal from the 10. They'll probably look to the air here. Hey, number eight's coming. Number eight's Mike. Mike. Seven's a Mike. Mike seven. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And they make the stop at the four. A seven-yard pickup on the screen play. That brings us fourth and goal. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. A great first half comes to a close. 16-10, Rockets. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Neither ground game very productive in that first half, David, and I really think it came down to each player on the defensive side executing their assignments and trying to get the positive self-determination that they wanted from a defense. No doubt about it. And you look at the defense is doing such a great job stopping the run. That's the first thing that you do 99% of the time in meetings is what are we going to do first? Stop the run. Because that's usually the place where you can get gashed the most. It's the simplest. Quarterbacks don't have to go back and make reads. It's designed. You know what they're going to do. But it also comes down to the big boys up front and those big boys making holes. And right now, I don't see many holes. And I don't care if you have Barry Sanders. I don't care if you have the best running back of all time, whoever it is in your backfield. If there's not a hole, there's no yards to be made. There's nothing they can do. So the defensive line doing a great job stuffing the run. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we've got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Toledo up six. Now he's scrambling. Brought down around the 31-yard line. And he's level at the 46. And he 
throws it away. Second and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. That makes us third and three. him hard at the 22. Brad, you can really feel and sense the energy coming from the sidelines right now. They know how important it is to pick up first downs. And the coaches right now are showing the excitement that they have and rolling out the next play for the offense. But clearly, the offensive coordinator very happy about the execution in that last play. Toledo is up by six. He's hit immediately. That's a D. That makes it second and two. Watch the two. He's coming off the edge. Watch the Last one. 36. 36. And they got him for a loss. Lost the second goal. Loss of three on the play. That'll make it third and five. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Three down, three down. Three down. Seven's a Mike. Mike seven. To the end zone touchdown. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That's a game six on the play. That'll make it second and four. He's hit and taken down. Really, there's not much more the defense could do there. They had outstanding coverage. It was just good execution from the quarterback making the right throw and the receiver going up and making a catch. Catches it, and he's looking for more. That makes it first and ten. Alert, alert, alert. Makes it out to about the 29. First down. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From the 29-yard line, second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's got it with room to run. He's taken down at the 19-yard line. Number two on the tactical at the 19-yard line. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Short pass, middle of the field, and that sets them up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. They'll bring him down at the one-yard line. Number 34 on the tackle at the one-yard line. That brings him second and goal. He 
These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Touchdown, Falcons. And a halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams have really answered the bell here in the third quarter, Kirk. Well, exciting to see what these offenses have been able to do here. Be able to come out and score in your first drive. Tells you a lot about what they did during the half. Last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. He's to the 40, gains his way to the 43-yard line. Toledo with a six-point lead. Carries the ball for a nice game. So they pick up the first down there. It's about a six yard gain on the play. It's a nice option play here by the offense. Running back took the pitch and got a nice gain to move the chain. Quick strike to the back, no good. Number 22 was the intended receiver. From the 41 yard line, it's second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Tackle around the 30-yard line. He's wrapped up for the sack. Call the loss of seven yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Mike seven. Mike seven. Mike seven. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Number 50 makes the tackle at the 33-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and 13. They'll call on the field goal unit. Toledo up six. Kicks away. And he got it. like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Bowling Green's come out of the locker room after the halftime, and they got a whole different approach going here offensively. Yeah, I think the one thing I'm recognizing is just more about the execution. I, I think they're, they're doing a good job of sticking to the fundamentals of their game plan, but I think they're doing a better job of executing that game plan, and it's helping them out. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. That's a game of 11 on the play. First down. Hey, check right 34. Mike, 34. 
Moves up in the pocket and down he goes. That makes it second and 14. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. Toledo's lead is nine. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He guns it. Caught. To the 20. Touchdown, Bowling Green. Well, that touchdown certainly has made it interesting here early in the fourth quarter because now we've got a football game. the PAT. A short three-play, 75-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. So the score now, 26-24. So we're early in the fourth quarter. Still a lot of football left, but in a game this tight, every possession is going to make a difference. Toledo holds just a two-point lead. Gets to about the 27-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short game. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. It's third down, eight to go. Ball on their own 27. That. He's met immediately. Impressive play by the defense. They're feeling pretty good about themselves right now. What are you doing? He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And brought down quickly. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum, possibly, for this defense. Dumps it complete over the middle. And he's taken down around the 47-yard line. Number four with the tackle at the 47-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. Delayed handoff, and he's not going to get back to the line. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. A conversion there could have really helped them, but it just wasn't to be. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Toledo is up two. Out of bounds. 
at the 43. That's a D. That'll make it second and seven. And he's immediately tackled. And down he goes at about the 37 yard line. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 37 yard line. Shot right around the 28 yard line. So it's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. Just under two to go in the game. He gets it up, and he just drilled it from long range. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Falcons coaching staff and the entire team knows that this is the guy that can win it for them. And the offense has to find a way to get the football into the hands of this running back, whether it's a, a simple toss sweep or maybe a ball out of the backfield where he can catch it in space. Football to him to see if he can spring one to maybe get the field goal range or who knows, maybe take it to the house. Nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. He airs it out. That close to being intercepted. Number 81. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. He heaves it deep, and he's got it! Touchdown, and now they're in front.
You don't really gain anything by kicking the extra point here, so they'll go for two and try to go up by three. They just didn't get the snap off in time. Here's the call. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. The kicker will stay on the sidelines for this extra point as the offense is going to stay on the field and try to make this a three-point game. They don't get it. Bowling Green to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's down to the end zone for a touchback. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. The defense has the lead here, but they know their backs are up against it. This offense is going to be coming after him in the no huddle. It's important as a defense you maintain your aggressive attitude, get the call from the sidelines, and get lined up. The last thing you want is a defense right now is confusion. Get the call, get lined up, and be ready to play. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Under a minute left in the game. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. It's a wide out, and he can't Number one, Third down and long, and they could really use a big play by their quarterback here this late in the game. In the shotgun and five wide outs. Throws a strike over the middle. Brought down at the 44-yard line. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Fires out to his wideout, and he hits him hard at the 32-yard line. and brought down. That'll make it second and long. Set, set, hot, 10 19. Check, check. Let's go, hey, Texas. Texas. Just sealed the deal. It's final. A close one to the very end. Bowling Green, 30. Toledo, 29. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action of this one? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Kirk Street. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.